test, 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 one, two, one, two, test, 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 one, two, one, two. Today is February 21st, 2021. Yeah. 1 30 p.m. Pacific time. We are about to go live for the MDW, the Freedy Gibbs story, the Q&A. Ask your questions. And also, I have a secret question for you in order so that you can win that cheetah bag. Everybody have a good day today. It's a great Sunday, isn't it awesome? Yeah, buddy. I see you, C C C I M C. I see you, George. What's really going on? Welcome. Let it fill up a little bit more before we get rolling. Yeah. party started we'll be coming on real soon just make sure let everybody come on in real quickly Q&A live the MDW the free to give story we're going live. We're going to go live for about a good 15, 20 minutes here. Answer your questions. So let's go ahead and do this here. Countdown. having a good day yeah let's get this party started
What's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube viewers? It's your girl, Freedia Cheetah Gibbs, coming to you live here on this Q&A. I just want to say I hope y'all having a happy Saturday, happy Sunday here. And uh, let's do this. So, uh, what is your first question? Regard, what's your first question regarding the uh, the uh, short film MDW, uh, Most Dangerous Woman in the World? What's your first question in regards to it? What was that, George? Okay, I got a question to ask you. Hi, hi. See, see, you got any questions to ask me? How about you, Grasshopper? What you want to know? I got a question to ask you. What feature film was being promoted during the uh, Battle of the Masters? What? Okay, you got a question for me, Grasshopper? Okay, your question is, what made you transition to full contact and boxing from traditional martial arts? And uh, what were some of the ways you had to adapt to it? That's a very good question, uh, Grasshopper. Uh, what happened was I had gone as high as I could in kickboxing, and um, you know, no one really would fight me in America, actually, through, in, in any country. So uh, boxing was coming along. Christy Martin, she was taking over. Boxing was coming along, and um, they decided to uh, promote women's boxing at the time. So I said, "Go ahead, yeah, I'd be happy to make that transition." So I went ahead and made that transition. One of the ways I had to adapt, one of the ways I had to adapt is I had to teach my mind to keep my legs down because all my life I've always used my hands and my feet to fight, you dig? And when I made the transition from bo kickboxing to boxing, I had to learn how to keep my legs down. Does that make sense to you? Any other questions? I'm going to have to use my glasses, guys. What is blood sport? Of course they know. IMV, of course they know I'm the best. There's no doubt about it. They know, they, there's absolutely no doubt about it. Yes, grasshopper, it was very hard for me to do. Very hard for me to keep my legs down. Ever since I was 11 years old, I always used my hands and feet. Then I, when I made the transition from kickboxing to boxing, it was very, very hard. Very hard. What movie are you talking about, grasshopper? Cheetah. What? Was that the movie promoted? The movie promoted for what? The movie promoted for the movie uh, for the Battle of the Masters. That's what. That's your question. My question to you: What movie was being promoted at Battle of the Masters? What you're going to have to do is go back and look at the um, short film. It's only nine minutes and forty-three seconds, and you'll see the movie being promoted right in the middle of the ring. 
and that's actually a secret question and what you gotta do is text in to me the answer and you want to text the 323-989-2105 in order to win that bag just so you know I will 100 gotcha grasshopper and that's not just for you grasshopper that's just for that's for everyone so it looked like we got six viewers on okay um, I have a question for you what was my corner man's name <laughs> you gotta go back and look at the video it's only nine minutes. What was my corner man's name? Can you get a clue? You got to take a look at that video. It's only nine minutes and 43 seconds. <laughs> Ruben Yurkides. What about Ruben Yurkides? Ruben Yurkides was my trainer. He was my very last uh, trainer, and he was the one who actually helped get all of my kickboxing fights. He and uh, the corner man. I'm not going to give you the corner man's name. You got to get the corner man. Ruben was awesome. He was a great trainer. We trained in Tarzana. I represented kickboxing gym in Tarzana. Again, you want to text me. Text me your answer. 323-989-2105. Oh, let me show you the bag. Here's the cheetah bag right here, just so you know. top quality you're gonna love it actually I'm giving out three cheetah bags so when I receive three texts for the three answers uh, we're giving out three cheetah bags okay um, I got a good question I got a question to ask you what color uh, pants did I have on during the fight when I fought Valerie Henning Thank you. Thank you, George. I'm glad you like it. I hope you win it. Susan Cook, stunning bag. Thank you, dear. I hope you win it. 323-989-2105. Send me that text so you can win, so, so you can win that bag. So what's your question in regards to the short film? Any other questions? I got one for you. What did my mama say? Oh, George, nice. Text me that answer, George. What did my mama say when they when they said I was fighting the most dangerous woman in the world? <laughs> yes, that's it. Nice, George. That's it. That's it. That's the answer. You can show it. Show the answer. Show the question. Yeah, you can show my number. That's not, that's it. Yes, yeah, my text number. Yeah, that's no problem. Fantastic. So, do you think that um, we we should do a movie on um, MDW, the Freddie Gibbs story? Yes, I am V. I am V. That's it. That's what Mama said. Good, good one. Text me that. Text me your info so you can get a bag. Yes, Susan, you got it. I'm the one your mom. Woo! -hoo! That's. Listen. You, 
You got to say it just like my mom said it. You got to say it just like my mama said it with conviction. I'm the one your mama warned you about. Yes. 323-989-2105. Text me that. Text me the question. Text me your address, your shipping address. We'll go ahead and get those bags to you. It's no problem. I need you to go back, take a look at that movie, that short film, and tell me the name of the movie that was being promoted. It was a mar it's a martial art martial artist. It's Bruce Lee's son. That's why this here fight was so big. I just gave you a clue, another clue. Grasshopper. Yes, Grasshopper, you got it. Multicolored pants, exactly. I did have a multicolored pants, but dig the move. Those multicolored pants, Grasshopper, they, the, the colors had significance. Now, what were the color of the pants? George, you got it. The color were red, black, and green. Red for blood, black for my, my people, my culture, green for uh, uh, land, and uh, yellow for gold. So it represented Africa. God bless you too. Justice, peace, music, and God bless you too. Thank you. Absolutely. We always got to keep God first in our life. Thank you. You know, so special. God bless all of you. It's so important that we keep God first in our life. That's something that I was taught from a very young child. Yes. Okay. So what are we doing next? What's next? What's the next question? Yes, absolutely. I got something for you. Amen. I got something for you. I have a question for you. So, life is like hiking. Remember I said out of all that hell, that negativity, and, and that adversely, I still wound up on top. Remember I said that? Let me share this with you. Life, life is like hiking. Yeah, exactly. John. Thir Life is like hiking. And I went my hiking this morning. And let me share this with you. So here I am hiking up this here hill. And it's getting tougher and tougher and tougher and tougher and tougher. And I found myself experiencing a lot of hell and a lot of tr uh, uh, trials and, and obstacles. Making every step going up that hill. But guess what? I made it up that hill. So the bottom line is life is like hiking. We're going to go through a lot of hell, we're going to go through a lot of adversity, and we're going to go through a lot of trials and tribulations. But you know what? As long as we make it to the top, that's all that matters. You dig? <laughs> okay, George Goodwin, what was my first martial art teacher? My first martial art teacher, obviously, was my uncle. You know, uh, and, and Master Rick Berry. They were my first martial art instructors. IMV. IMV. Yes. Yes, 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 I am V, you're right. We're going to go through our trials, we're going to go through our tribulations, we're going to go through our ups, we're going to go through our downs, but the bottom line is as long as you pick yourself back up, stand firm, and keep and win your race. We got a race to win in life, you dig? I'm going to tell you a little secret. You know, I used to be bullied a lot. I used to be very, you know, little and petite and teased a lot about my body because I'm built like an athlete. But what I learned 
is that all we got to do is face our fears. Face your fears. Because we can't run from them. I learned that. You can't run from your fears. So since we can't run from our, from our fears, we might as well face our fears like a champ. And once we face our fears, believe it or not, our fears will run. Believe it or not, our fears will run. <laughs> Hey, what was your question there? Your questions have you ever have I ever thought about teaching this next generation? I think about teaching them all the time. You know? Um, it's so important. In fact, I feel so important. I feel that all you girl dads, you need to get your daughters into martial arts. Get your daughter into martial arts early. Let her learn how to get dirty and get rough and wrestle around and all those things. And get physical and get aggressive real early. Bring out the, 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 the bring out the wolf in her at a young age. Yes, you're right, grasshopper. I had on the African pants. God bless you too. God bless you all. All women need to learn martial arts. Every single woman on this planet. Every single woman on this planet. No means no, baby. Every single woman on this planet needs to learn martial arts. I don't start early and, and learn how to protect yourself, strengthen your soul. Every single last one of you. That's a good one. Good question. EC four four hundred. When is a good time to start? What is a good time to start? If you got girls, let them start. They got to start early, like about 10, 11 years old. Okay? And uh, tell your daughters that it's, to, it's for them to rebuild their self-confidence because that's what it's all about. And eventually, it'll lead them to learn how to physically defend themselves. Oh, I love you too, Lady. Oh, George, I love you too. Yeah, that's me, Lady Jack Johnson. IMV, that's right. That's what you got to do. In fact, self-defense should be mandatory in all schools. Throughout the world. Throughout the world. Oh, my dog is bossy. That's right. That's the purpose of my story. Is to give you hope. To let you know that you can win this race. That's right. We all got a race to win. And you can win this race. Look, if I, if I can do it, you can do it too. I come from nothing. I come from nothing. You know? That's right. You can win. Yes. Now I'm trying to, you know, tell you I I come from a very poor, very poor background, you know, and someone who was bullied, and it, I get emotional sometimes, you know. I I was bullied. I thought about committing suicide, you know. I was surrounded around child molesters, you know, and and I was trapped, and you know, someone trying to hurt me, and. You know, and things like that, you know. So, I'm telling you. If I overcame this here and became champion of the world, you can overcome this here and become champion of the world too. And you don't have to be an athlete to become champion of the world. That's all I want to let you know. Share this live chat. Look like, oh, I got seven more minutes. Ooh, we got seven more minutes. But uh, what, what's your other questions? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Don't forget I got these cheetah bags for you. So make sure y'all text me your answers. <laughs> Grasshopper, so true cheetah about our fears. Run to them. We got to. You got to run to your fears. I learned that early because I used to run from my fears. I really did. I ran. I was a runner. Boy, I'm trying to tell you, I became all American. You know, I ran from my fears. And then finally, the day came when I learned that you can't run from your fears. You got to face them babies. Face them. And you know, they run from you. They will, when you face your fears, they will disappear just like that. I wish you could have too, my dog is bossy. Get into martial arts. 
Get into martial art to help build your self-confidence, to help build your self-esteem, mamas. Get in there, okay? And then what that would do is also help you to rebuild your uh, 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 self-defense skills, just so you know, okay? So many of us come from those conditions. Looks, look at how strong you are. Yeah, you know, God used me. You know, believe me, God, God is using me, and I want. That's my purpose of being here, is to uh, be used in a positive and spiritual way. Fifty-one, good. That's a good age. My grandmom said at 51, life is just beginning. So life is just beginning for you. No, no, no. Put that. Ain't no sad face. Put that. Turn that smile upside down and make that a you. You understand, bossy? Yeah. And going out there and work, baby, work. My dog is bossy. You'll never. Yeah, that's right. You're never too old to learn. My grandma was 91 years old. She said to me, you know, Fridia. I am still learning something new at 91 years old. She said, I want you to understand this. You're going to always learn something new. When you stop learning or deciding to learn, then your mind as well just die. You dig? So remember, we always got something new to learn. Age is just a number. You understand? Go learn some self-defense to rebuild your self-confidence. Learn to rebuild your self-esteem. This is real, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm a living example. I'm truly a living example. You have rich blood that flows through your body. My dog is bossy. George, all of you. All of you have rich blood that flows through your body. You have to believe. It's just a test. Everything is just a test. Believe me when I tell you. It's a test. So I got a question to ask you. What's your ultimate goal in life? What is your ultimate goal in life? Absolutely. We always got to start small and build up. It's just like working out. Yes, I am a survivor. You know, when I think about that, I, I rather would say, rather than saying I'm a survivor, I would rather say that, you know, I'm a victory. I, I, I'm vict I was victorious. You dig? Yeah, I'm victorious. Survive, yeah, right, yeah, doggy. <laughs> My dog is bossy. Where'd you get that name from? Survivor, we are victorious. That's right, we are victorious. We are champions. We are winners. Yeah. Why are you here? That's right, you gotta know why you're here. Just to see another day, is that it, George? You know my ultimate goal is? Understand this here. All of us are nothing but a burst of energy with a coat on us. When it's time for us to make our transition, our coat deteriorates and our spirit moves on. When our spirit moves on, you often wonder, where do we go? My ultimate goal is to be, as a spirit, is to stand on the right side or the left side or one of those sides of God in order to be one of his fighting warriors to come down here and help uh, uh, help people who are going through trials and tribulations and who need, you know, an angel to help them to fight their war. That's a good question. Who are some of my favorite pro fighters, past and present? My past, um, that's a good one. Past, Floyd Mayweather and uh, Roger Mayweather, boxers, and obviously Muhammad Ali. Present, obviously I'm in mixed martial arts a lot. So my present, we're going to look at Clarissa Shields. She's the queen of boxing right now. And... Um, Let's see here. Who else in boxing? Yeah, Clarissa Shields is actually the first one top comes to my mind. Uh, she's a great boxer. You are the Rocky of the story. Oh, thanks a lot, man. My bossy doggy. Amen. My walk with Jesus is most important in my life, and it should always be. Because in the end, that's who he's the one we're going to face.
Yes, in the end. That's right. Whatever you do, just say the right thing, do the right thing, and make the right things happen. That's right. That's what I am. We team Jesus for real. For real justice. We are team Jesus. For real. For real. I'm trying to tell you. If you don't know, you better ask somebody. You dig? Anyway, y'all, we got uh, 60 more seconds. Any more questions? Did I receive my texts? I see I see six texts here. All right. Grasshopper, I see it. George. Amen, Queen. Okay, Justice, Peace, Entertainment. Praise His name every day and all day. How many, let me ask you a question. How many times a day, throughout a day, do y'all thank God? That, I just want to just ask y'all a simple question. How many times a day do you thank, thank God? I find myself thanking maybe about 50 times a day. I don't know. Just the old soul. How long have I been in martial arts? Oh, jeez. I started at the 11 years old, just the peace. And actually, I'm still in martial arts. It's a way of life. It's like a religion to me. George, your question is, did I get the right number? Yes, I got the right number. Grasshopper, you are victorious. Thanks, champ. We are victorious. We are victorious. Understand that. We are. You have to be as often as you can. You have to be. In life, we have a race to win. And just make sure you go through that finish line. And when you go through that finish line, go through that finish line strong. Strong with your hands raised. You want to leave life with your hands raised. Don't leave life with your hands down. 100 times a day. Yeah, that's right, Queen. That's right. Peace of just. That's what I'm talking about. High five. Well, I want to let y'all know, I really, really enjoyed this Q&A. Just as I praise him for the time I open my eyes from the time and I close them, absolutely. You're supposed to. Every day, all day long. He's your best friend. He's your best friend. Oh, mother too well. Enough respect, queen. Hey, hey, hey. What's happening? Let me share this with you. I've been hearing people say, oh, yeah, he's my best friend. She's my best friend. No, they're not. It's your best friend. It's your God. It's your best friend. He says it's written. You trust no man. God's your best friend. I will be faithful to the finish until I hear. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. I love you. I love you, too. My dog, my dog is bossy. I love all of you. It was a pleasure, you guys. Well, I'm getting ready to sign out. It was a pleasure. Thank you so very much. I got your texts. And, uh. I'll be sending you the bags, okay? God bless you all. Stand firm. Stand firm. Face your fear. Stand firm and win your race. I'm out of here. Drop your video to God and control me and my for sure. Love you. Take care, guys.